And I was in financial management, and I was really good at it. But I wanted something that fed my soul, and I and I didn't know how to get out of it. I didn't know. It took me a long time. I'm like, I get in life insurance, I get health insurance, I get, but I'm working myself to death. And I actually had breast cancer. Uh, in 2005, 2006, and it was the thing that woke me up, and I wanted to live. I didn't want to die, and it made me want to live, and so I said, okay, and I moved from Florida and relocated here, got a job in the corporate world for about a year, and then started coming out here, and then on the weekends I was coming out here and working seven days a week, and then I went to part-time work and, and my corporate job, and then I finally resigned and made this a full-time thing, but I gave up certain things. I gave up and I'm living an alternate lifestyle where I live outside and a lot of times I sleep in this vehicle which in this city it's considered a crime but in my heart and under the Constitution it's not a crime. It's just a really special place where it's got it's got the super wealthy really close to the really poor and they walk side by side. You've got Myself, who's an artist who, you know, I don't make a lot of money. By choice, I left the corporate world and came out here to do this by choice. Um, but I'm so prosperous because I, and it's money doesn't rule my life anymore. Love and life rule my life. And that's, what's, that's why I love it. Even when it gets tough, even when there's moments when um, you may have to encounter a really challenging situation, it's conflict, and but it's, it's life it's just raw, it's real, it's in the elements. I get to hear the birds chirp. I get to feel the sand sometimes <laughs> when the wind blows really strong. I can go to the ocean and watch the foam come up. And then I can see a, just a, a mosaic of humanity here. I've met people from everywhere that have come here because they've heard of this place. And I want them to come back because not just to buy my art <laughs> or anyone else's, but because this is such a unique place, and when you get it in your system, you can't get it out. It, it, it's like love, and it just never leaves you. And sometimes it can be really frustrating, because we get pitted against each other. The police get pitted against the artists. The artists could sometimes get pitted against each other. And I think we're here to serve a bigger purpose, to learn to work together, and to save our planet, and to save future generations.